Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're doing gameplay with the brand new free Galaxy Opal. Richard Jefferson is a 6'7 shooting guard with elite all around stats and badges, great player build, great wingspan. Just a great all around card, but I don't think his release is very good. And I think that is going to hold this card back from being like best of the best at his position, unfortunately. But we're going to give him a fair shot in this game, see what we think of the card. Before we hop into the video, if you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Help me push towards the 25,000 subscriber mark on the channel. I upload every single day. I would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe. Uh, massive shout out to my boy, Sweaty Noah, for letting me hop on his account to record this video. Really appreciate that a ton. Without further ado, RJ is 6 99 offense and defense, 95 driving layup, 94 close shot, 92 mid range, 95 base three ball, I believe, 88 free throw, 80, 98 driving dunk, uh, 89 ball handle, 88 pass accuracy, 90 block, 90 interior, 92 steal, 94 perimeter. Statistically, speed, field ball, and excel are all phenomenal. Uh, from 97 vert, 98 stam, 94 lateral quickness. Just a really good all around card, honestly. 27 hops include fast switch, post drives, or agent three blinders, catch and shoot, claymore, dead eye, limitless range, anchor challenger, clamps, glove, off fall pass, post lockdown, precision dunker, blow by speed, Mr. Fast Feet, right? Scripper, Bulldozer, 94 feet. Like, just a really nicely well rounded card. As gold rise up, handles for days, unpluckable. Interceptor, pogo stick, rebound chaser. Free points, open looks, immovable enforcer, which is a very big badge, of course. Only badges he doesn't really have. I mean, brick wall, I would add the rest of them. I guess touch pass would be a nice one to add as well. But in general, Richard Jefferson, I mean, he's looking pretty good, to be honest. Um, now, my question with Richard Jefferson, how is his release looking? This UNC court that uh, this dude has is very neat, by the way. Very cool court. Um, Escape-wise, uh, not, well, not an amazing escape, but not an awful escape. You know what? The release is not pretty. I'm not going to sit here and gas the release at all, but... It's not as bad as I thought it would be. I'm gonna be honest. It's it's really not. It feels it feels smoother than I expected anyway. Same side has he. Is he a good same side has he? Uh, yeah, he does. Okay, cool. So we can same side has he fine. Behind the back is Kyrie's behind the back, which isn't the best, but you can live with it, I guess. Um, obviously, athletically, and as a slasher, he's super fast and super athletic. And you know, with a release like this, I think you could definitely work with it. He's got the badges for sure. He's gonna be at least a threat. Now, I maybe wish he had a slightly better sigs, but again, he's six seven with a seven foot wingspan, big player build, super athletic at the two gonna be at least a solid card it's just the shooting guard position is so stacked that i just don't think there's really a spot for richard jefferson on very many people's teams but he is looking like a really solid free card i think he's gonna be good so let's hop into a game let's see what rj can do all right hop into this game we're going up against siblings that's his name interesting um he's got steph og and julius randall wow he grinded it. he already finished the bold agendas himself he's got paulo boncaro and bart gasol as well i'd like to get an og and an obi gameplay today as well uh as i record this video i don't have one lined up but i think i will be getting an og gameplay at some point today for y'all as well uh i haven't gotten on my own account but rj right here this is your gameplay going up against admittedly an elite defender and og but gets to the rim first possession and that is where he will be at his best the primary option with richard jefferson should be to try to find a way to get downhill towards the rim use his speed size and athletic ability and then it, that will open up other things and other opportunities with him good defense there contest steph the thing about steph is as fun of a card as he might be to use i'm not sure he's all that great in my team in all honesty attack downhill here again got great speed we're in a good position here we're gonna go back to this pick and fade larry bird attack downhill larry legendary beautiful move very nice gets inside to the rim and finishes good start for the offense honestly uh i'll take the standing dunk with larry Going underneath the screen. Very good. Good defense. Now step through and contest. Very good. All right. Perfect. We're in a good spot right now, honestly. I'm feeling, feeling all right about this game so far. Attack this way. I have a, an open lane here, but get it to Richard Jefferson. There we go. Let's go this way. Attack. I, I didn't check out what his fade is. Honestly, I didn't green it, but I don't think it's that bad. It seems pretty fast, and uh, I don't know what fade animation it was. I didn't even check that out in freestyle, which is something I definitely should have checked, but uh, let's keep defending. Step up here go through good very nice honestly this dude feels like he's he's super caged he grinded out this stuff he doesn't know what to do with him um very good this is yeah no chance no chance this dude definitely just does not know what he's doing entirely right now um let's go get downhill for for another dunk though with richard jefferson if we can't or try to get off a screen one of the two um set me a good pick and pop screen here beautiful same side burst attack the rim get inside we got ourselves a switch all right come set me a pop honestly not perfect defense there but there we go we get downhill yo you didn't pop out to the three-point line at all okay i'm kind of trolling right now i'm not gonna lie i've had multiple open opportunities this this possession that i didn't take i should just take the buckets of other guys but thought richard jefferson was gonna pop out for a three there was gonna have a wide open shot and he just didn't so 
Oh my gosh, I get ripped by freaking Julius Randle. CPU playing that for him. Wall up. Good D, Larry. Oh, he still did good enough of a contest. And that one goes in too. And this is just turned into a frustrating game, to be honest with y'all. Let's see what we can do. Same side burst. Attack downhill. Go to the corner. Fade. Good move. Good shot. Arch. Oh my goodness. Slightly late. His fade is nice. His fade is definitely nice. Slightly late. Even with that upper, it's a nice quick fade. So, like to see that. I just wish you were playing a little bit better right now. Honestly, it's the main thing. I'm just not... I don't know. I should just take my points with other people, but I'm really trying to stack um, stats with Richard Jefferson. It's just, I don't know. He is always limited by his release, and that's still the case. The release feels a little better right now. I win the jump ball, and I still don't win it. That's awesome. Um, I don't win the actual ball anyway, but oh well. Good D. There we go. Wall up. Very good. Play D. Play out the corner. We're good. Can step, click on and contest the fade, and there you go. Very good defense. Air balls of the three. At least we're playing defense right now, because offensively, we have struggled, but... I think I'm just going pick and pop and driving the ball. That's the easiest recipe for success for uh, for Richard Jefferson, and I don't think I should really be going to much else. I do think, though, I'm noticing already, like, I think, honestly, for me, a guy like our OG, I don't know, he makes more sense as a card I would use just because his release is faster. And for me, I think he fits better. Uh, Richard Jefferson's going to be at his best off the ball, and then off the ball, his release is going to be a little, bit of a, a little bit of an issue. So good defense there. He still gets it up and draws a foul, unfortunately, but... I just think release is one of the most important things in the game, especially among point guard, shooting guard, small forward, power forward. Like, you can get away with a slower release, I think, a little bit more at the center position, but everywhere else, you really need a good, quick release, I feel like. And Richard Jefferson, unfortunately, just doesn't quite give you that. Like, I know it's not the worst. It's just not great. You know what I mean? And, and at this point in the year, you want great. So, I don't know. Just my opinion. There's a wide open three. That should be green. Very nice. Good. And you get enough space, obviously, he's going to drill it. He's an elite level shooter in terms of stats and badges and stuff like that, as to be fair most cards are at this point and we do draw knock that one down i just i do think the release is a hindrance is basically what i'm saying and that's kind of true about a lot of cards and but a lot most there aren't really cards people are using who have bad releases at point guard shooting guard or small forward except for i guess maybe 100 overalls if you have those that's about it um let's see if we can go same side burst again reject the screen this time because he's expecting me to use it and we're going to get downhill again at least he's fast he is fast and athletic and we're finally up to nine points the last couple of possessions we finally found something we got five quick points and um just running offense, I think, a little bit better. Haven't capitalized all that well this game earlier in the game, and we're in a good spot here. Step up. Very good. Three-point lead. Get through the screen. Get through the screen. Get through the screen. Okay, we didn't exactly get through that all that well, but he didn't play it well. He didn't He didn't play off of his advantage properly, and we did get a contest there. That should be a stop. And RJ, 99 speed. Run the floor. Come on, man. Run the floor all the way around. End around. Hey, look at RJ. He does have great speed and great slashing ability, man. And that can be pretty fun to use and pretty glitchy if you know what angles to take and all that stuff. What play the back door. Marcus saw good wall up. Should have been a, st a rebound, but that's okay. We'll step up here. One good thing about Richard Jefferson, six seven means, and with a big player build too, seven foot wingspan, all that stuff means there is real switchability defensively, which is really nice. That's not a great shot. Oh my goodness, I greened it anyway. I knew it wasn't a great shot, but he didn't get a direct contest, and I greened it. Like I said, I I, I don't know. I started this game off poorly, and I think maybe that gave me a little bit of an unfair impression of Richard Jefferson. He's a solid card, man. I do wish the release was a little better, though. And that does, I mean, regardless, that does hold a card back at least to a certain extent. Mark Gasol never could do that in his life, by the way, with that animation that he just got. There's no chance Mark Gasol has ever been physically capable of doing that. That was insanity. Throw the pass, wide open. Larry Legend, green. Oh my gosh, I smoked it. I suck. Um... Fat stop in front of him. Crab. Oh, my gosh. Come out here and three hunt then, Richard. That's, that's a good move, but I didn't grade it. It's all right. That's cool. I like the card, honestly. I mean, we start off the game rough, but I think he's actually pretty good. He's not a bad option. Um, And this is a pretty solid win, man. So not going to complain in the slightest. One more run out means one more dunk, maybe. Or not. He's tired and OG and OB recovered. It's all right. 16 to 10 win. Or even if he scores here, it really doesn't matter much. And he's not going to anyway. So good game, honestly. I think Richard Jefferson's okay. 14, 6 to 10, 2 of 5 from 3. Fun card to use. Is he an elite level small forward shooting guard? Probably not because of the release, but he's not a bad card at all, and I did enjoy using him. So, hope you all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon, and I appreciate y'all. Peace!